It could have been a love story, but the touch of Satan turned it into a nightmare. Bananas! The most beloved fruit in the Western world, and many of us have made use of these potassium-rich beauties throughout various lockdowns baked into cakes and banana bread. There's a few misconceptions when talking about these iconic fruits, namely what they actually taste like. Now picture in your mind's eye or mind's tongue what you think bananas taste like. More often than not, you're picturing those small foam sweets or banana angel delight. Now go get yourself a fresh banana and taste it. Actually taste it. It's incomparable. A fresh banana tastes more akin to a raspberry than your Mackey D's milkshake. And that's thanks to a cheap manufactured compound called isoamyl acetate, which gives those banana flavored things their banana-y...ness. Green bananas are as much as 80% starch, and as these ripen in the fruit bowl, the skin starts to turn brown and floppy as the starches get converted into sugar and pectin. When I say starch, I mean a simple form of carbohydrate. This is why bananas fill you up and give you a sustained energy release, much like pasta. Starch is just a long chain of sugar that gets broken down through organic processes. This is why old, yellow, nasty bananas taste heaps sweeter than bright green ones. This gives me a pretty good idea. The vast majority of bananas in the world today are of one variety. This is because much like the phylloxera outbreak of the 1850s that destroyed the European wine industry, the predominant species of banana pre-1950 was susceptible to Panama disease, which nearly wiped the banana off the map. The Cavendish is immune to the disease, and that's why these days all of our bananas look and taste the same. Cocktail-wise, bananas are pretty tricky to incorporate into drinks as their texture is not great. Beyond making alcoholic smoothies, we're going to have to use some cocktail science to make some elevated, nuanced drinks. Sometimes tiki drinks use bananas as a texturing ingredient, and there's a reason why you don't see through tiki mugs. Just like every time, I break my drinks down into three sections. Super simple, where no special tools are needed. Mega tasty, where a simple infusion or syrup is called for. And ultra fancy, where maximum effort is needed. Now, before I can make any drinks, gotta do some prep. Righto, so the first thing I'm making today is inspired by old pal and kick-ass bartender, Kelsey Ramage. It's a fairly simple roasted banana syrup. By cooking the bananas, we break those long chains of starch down into simple sugars and caramelize some of those into vanilla-y goodness. This is what you do with those nasty ratchet bananas that you put in your bag with the full intention of eating, but end up getting bruised and battered. All those bananas that are earmarked for banana bread. Start by tightly wrapping a few bananas in tin foil as to keep in as much liquid as possible. Pop those on a baking tray in the top shelf of an oven at gas mark three or 165 Celsius for 30 minutes. Once cooked, leave them to cool for half an hour and they should end up looking like this. Take off their blackened skins and smash up the flesh with a fork until homogenous. Squeeze over 50 ml of lemon juice, stir and let sit for 30 minutes. This is to stop the browning effect that happens when left to react with the air. Pass the mixture through a muslin cloth or super bag and squeeze out as much liquid as possible. At this point you could filter this again, but it doesn't really matter for what we'll be making later. Then weigh out the liquid. I have 175 grams of filtered liquid. To this add 175 grams of water and 350 grams of caster sugar. Stir everything to combine, and once the sugar has dissolved, bottle, label, and keep in the fridge until needed later. Now, how's about a drink? The first drink today is a doozy, something that is super delicious, and you might even find them popping up in cocktail bars. Start by adding to a jar or mixing glass 60 ml of the delightful Mictus Rye, which is a super spicy and dry American whiskey. 15 ml of banana liqueur, which has been flavored with isoamyl acetate, which is that constructed banana flavor. Then 20 ml of the delicious Cocchi Torino Sweet Vermouth, two dashes of Angostura bitters, and optionally 
two dashes of Reagan's orange bitters. Add plenty of ice and stir until perfectly chilled and diluted enough to still carry a boozy bite. Use a large spoon or fork to hold back the ice and pour into a chilled cocktail glass. Garnish with a banana shaped lemon twist, sip and enjoy this boozy treat as the unexpected bump of bananary goodness cracks a wry smile through this grown up cocktail. The Banana Hattern. Mm, cheers. What would you give? All right, so back in the prep kitchen, I'm taking the previous idea to the next level. Start with some nice, ripe yellow bananas. According to the internet, these should have around 30% starch, which I can transform into simple sugar through the application of a few enzymes and some thyme. Mash up 450 grams of de-skinned bananas. Any excuse to pull out the potato masher. Once this has been churned up into an homogenous paste, Add in one gram of ascorbic acid, otherwise known as vitamin C. This stops browning. Then add two grams of Brewer's amylase, the kind that doesn't require boiling to activate. Amylase is an enzyme that chews up starch and spits out maltose, which is a fermentable sugar. Then add 25 grams of pectinex, which breaks down pectin to help clarify the final product. Stir everything through and then cover tightly with cling film and set aside for 48 hours at room temperature. Two days later. It's two days later and as you can see, the fiber has started to separate from the liquid. So pass this through a fine meshed sieve, pushing out as much liquid as possible. Then pass through a coffee filter to catch any smaller particulate. With any luck, what's left is a crystal clear, sweet-ish liquid that is raspberry-ish with a slight tomato note. Not like banana at all, it's way more vegetable. Bottle, label, and keep in the fridge until later. Now that's done, I fancy a cheeky daiquiri. Well then, it's time. The banana daiquiri is something of a cult drink with no real set recipe as everyone makes it differently. I'll be using Kelsey's syrup for this one, which makes for a silky delicious, smashable drink. Start by adding to a jar or shaker 50 mils of the delightful Diplomatico Planas, which is a delicious unaged Venezuelan rum. 25 mils of the ratchet banana syrup that we made earlier, and 25 mils of fresh pressed lime juice. Add plenty of ice and shake as hard as you can until it's too cold to hold on to. Strain out into an iced cocktail glass and enjoy the stupidly delicious freshness of this cheeky little number. Just remember, any more than three sips and you're playing with it. The Banakery. Cheers. The very last thing I'm making today is a decidedly delicious highball that makes the most out of those almost vegetal pear-esque raspberry flavors from fresh banana juice. Start by adding to an iced highball glass 50 mils of Glasshouse Whiskey, which is an unpeated Highland style scotch with bright toffee apple notes. 35 mils of the banana juice from earlier, then top up with around 100 mils of chilled soda water. Give this all a quick swizz, add more ice if needed, then garnish with a nice lemon wedge. This drink is pretty delicious. It's fresh and bright with funky pear notes from the banana, although, as you can see, the starch that I thought had been broken down has precipitated out. My amylase might have been a little old or it didn't work properly. Perhaps it needed more time or a different filtering technique. Looks aside, nevertheless, it's a cheeky little banger. The Cavendish Highball. Cheers. And that's it. I definitely need to revisit this one. There is so much more I can do. I don't know what happened to my last drink. It went all cloudy and nasty. I've used this recipe to make banana juice before and it went off without a hitch. Actually, if you check out my Instagram, there's a story on there. And I also make banana marmite as well. So check it out. If you did like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, stick a comment down below with the one thing that you want to see me tackle in the future and click my face when it pops up here in a second. That will keep you notified for when new videos drop every week. But until next time, take it easy. Be good. Love you. Bye.
suck both. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>